The stretch of the ancient Emmaus Road from Jerusalem to what is now Moza was nestled into this valley from the edge of Givat Shaul neighborhood and alongside the giant cemetery complex of Hal HaMenuchot. At the top of the ravine, the road zigzags up to the industrial area of Givat Shaul neighborhood. The remains of the Roman road mark the route that Jesus and his disciples walked to Emmaus on the day of Jesus' resurrection outlined in the New Testament in Luke 24. Thanks to the research of David Biven, who recorded the disintegration of the road from the 1990s onward, I was able to find the location and some of the actual curbstones, but barely. Not much is left and nearly completely overgrown. There are four possible sites that vie as contenders to be Emmaus, and Moza is one of them. The problem of solving the location is based on the variant reading in manuscripts between 60 stadia and 160 stadia. This stage of the road, however, is not in doubt. According to the Israel's Antiquities Authority, which surveyed these remains in 2002, the road runs in the depth of the ravine. It's possible to walk alongside the gully on a modern dirt road, which may be accessed by using ways as Ma'ale Roma'im, or the ascent of the Romans. The remains of the original route in the ravine is almost completely obliterated by weeds, thorns, and brush, with a municipal water main spanning the entire section of this valley. Even today, though, it's not hard to imagine the natural beauty of the hills surrounding the ravine. The Jewish National Fund intended to create a recreational area here for hikers. There were even some plaques and a few picnic tables from donors, but these were abandoned due to a lack of funding. Because of the expansion of the adjacent cemetery, boulders fell down the slope into the ravine, as well as trees uprooted, blocking the valley. Curb stones flanked the Roman road on a raised margin, with foundation stones underneath. Flat paving stones filled with gravel and pebbles completed the layers, and probably looked something like this Roman road in the Elah Valley. This other road, now called the Path of Caesar, winds along the modern route 375. It dates from the same time period, though, and goes to show that this transport system followed the geography. Constructed after the first Jewish revolt, circa 70 CE, it was probably the work of Emperor Hadrian's engineers in the second century, but most certainly, the path traces the same foundation of the road that Jesus and the two disciples followed to Emmaus. It's estimated that the width of the road was between three to four meters. Upon arriving at the end of the ravine in the modern town of Moza, a new senior's residence is being built over the ancient Roman pool, which collected water from the valley. Ironically, during the Roman era, retired Roman soldiers also settled in Moza in a settlement which they called Colonia. An Arab village, Colonia, spanned the hill here even until the 20th century. Moza is still a strategic geographic hub of the highway system to Jerusalem, but this Roman road that Jesus traveled has almost completely vanished once for all for modern hikers. <laughs>